Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man Profile. Today we're going to be taking on some dungeons for the first time ever and uh, well, let's, uh, let's see how it goes, shall we? Let's just start where we left off in the previous episode. So the farm contest just ended and we now have enough materials and tickets to finally upgrade our sugarcane hoe. And there it is epic sugarcane hoe and then we're also about 3.2 million away from upgrading it to the legendary one so at 10 million counter but yeah let's go ahead and craft it and i'm gonna be farming a lot of sugarcane as like i said before we're gonna need a lot of money for the dungeons our bee should now be ready for pickup and there it is we now have a rare bee pet and before i further upgrade the bee i want to check how much the elephant costs so we need 15,000 coins. Okay, I'm just gonna start this upgrade. The elephant is gonna cost, I think it's like 15 million to upgrade from legendary to epic. So yeah, we need to start grinding coins big time. All right, here we go. 15,000 and six hours. Take it away and uh, I will see you in a little bit. So I've had my redstone minions running for a couple of days and they have actually produced enough redstone for 12 enchanted redstone blocks. And we're only two enchanted redstone blocks away from being able to upgrade our personal compactor. So if we look in here, personal compactor, 5,000 requires 14 enchanted redstone blocks. We currently have 12. So what I'm going to do is actually head back to the dwarven mines up to those minecarts and just mine those two blocks. It shouldn't take too long. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that quickly. Alrighty, so I am now back from the dwarven mines and we actually have enough redstone to craft the two blocks that we need. And then if we put it in our crafting bench around the personal compactor, we can upgrade it to the personal compactor 5000. So here we go. And that gives us two more slots so that we have now three in total. And this just means that I can farm for longer periods of time because my inventory doesn't get as filled. In the case of farming sugarcane, I just put the enchanted sugar and the enchanted sugarcane into the personal compactor and it does all the crafting for me so I don't have to worry and I can literally just stay my AFK farm and watch, I don't know, a movie or something and by the time that I'm done, I'm gonna probably have a lot of money. So something crazy just happened. I got messaged by Moto XX out of nowhere and they said they had a gift for me. And I was like, I'm an Iron Man, I can't accept anything. And they warped me to the hub and they gift me MVP++ and I'm in shock. So if you're watching the video, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, wow, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Since I upgraded my hoe, I have done quite a bit of farming and if we look in our inventory, we now have over a stack of enchanted sugarcane, almost a stack and a half even. And we're gonna go and sell it and see how much money we can make from it. Our sugarcane hoe is also at 9.1 million counters, so we're about 900,000 crops away from reaching the legendary stage. So the only place I can sell things to is the NPCs, so let's see how much we actually get from a stack of sugarcane. Wow, 3.2 mil. So I was right. I think I said in the last episode or the episode before that, I don't remember, that it was around there. And uh, I was kind of spot on, not gonna lie. And then we get 1.4 for this. That's honestly not bad at all. So yeah, let's just go ahead and sell it. And we're actually gonna have some bank. This is crazy. Wow, 4.7 mil in my purse right now. Imagine I die. No way. I am... Nope, not here. We're going to the hub. We're going to deposit it quickly. 7.5 mil in the bank. And... You know what? I think it's time. Oh my god, 5.2 mil for cookies. They used to be like 2 mil like a year and a half ago or so. Jesus, what, what happened? I think I'm going to do it. Cookies are 5.2 mil right now, but... I really want to buy one so we can start getting bits and we can actually get some stuff from the bit store. So let's go grab our money. We're, we're doing this. We can always farm more money. All right, here we go. First cookie on the profile. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, the price was only 5 mil though. That's good. We saved 200k. I will not say no to that. This guy's just asking me to open some presents. Oh, 
we got a snow minion? What? No way, bro. What? I haven't opened a single gift on the profile yet. We got two snow minions. What? Three snow minions. Are you kidding me? Did they increase the chance of you getting them or what? Four snow minions? What in the world is happening? The cookie gives you buffs for four days. The buffs are listed down here. I'm not gonna read them all because there are so many. So here we go. Let's eat our first cookie. Oh my. This is five million. Boom. Oh my goodness beautiful and then i felt like i was ready to actually take on some dungeons so my best armor set was the glacite and so i grabbed my void sword my dragon short bow the healing item aspect of the end and i also got one of my viewers to party with me so that we can go into the dungeons together and we went into the entrance and yeah we started the run and i was feeling so confident i didn't even realize which class i picked and then the dungeon started and I kind of realized that something was missing because I was going to go mage class, but I didn't have my mage beam. And I was like, hmm, how so? But then I quickly realized I actually picked the archer class and I have never played archer before. Not to even mention that this was my first dungeon run. So obviously the only bow that I had was the dragon short bow, which is pretty terrible outside the end really but i still somehow managed to kill a couple of mobs it was pretty terrible not gonna lie and then i also started doing some secrets so for anyone who is unfamiliar with dungeons maybe if you look in the top right there is a map and you can see different types of rooms and each of these rooms has their own secrets and so if you look to the right of my hotbar you can see that there's two out of four secrets found for this room and basically the more secrets you find the more dungeon score you're gonna get and that will affect your overall score at the end so you obviously need a certain amount of score to qualify for chests so like s chest or s plus chest and so on floor one it doesn't really matter getting secrets all that much i just wanted to show you a couple of them and then we ended up clearing the rest of the dungeon and uh, i was ready to enter the blood room i was so confident i didn't die so far and I was feeling it. I ran straight into there and things kind of turned around a little bit. So as soon as I entered, I got swarmed with all of the mobs, even though the person I was queued with tried tanking them. I was gonna die. I, I knew it. As soon as I entered that room and I remembered I had a bow, I was like, yep, this is it. I am dead. And well, I wasn't wrong. It didn't take long at all for them to kill me, <laughs> but we still ended up getting a B and that was our first dungeon run done. And then the person I was queued with had to leave and so I was left by myself and I didn't really want to get to somebody else or use the party finder as I was still feeling pretty confident even though I got destroyed in the blood room. And so I decided to actually go into floor ones by myself. And yeah, I was so not ready for what was about to come. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get us into a floor one run quick. So floor one boss is Bonzo, or as I call him, Bozo. And I will be running the mage class for now. So what I'm hoping for here is killing a couple of mobs, maybe dropping a bit of armor or a dreadlord sword would be pretty nice. We are 100% dead if a mini boss comes around. There is no doubt about it. Up oh, and, and dead. okay. Yeah, we are so dead. I ulted him, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think I can kill him. Once my ult stops working, we are dead big time. Oh, wait. Oh, <gasps> I actually killed him. Wow. I don't think there's a secret in here, actually. There is a crypt, though. Oh, <gasps> I died. No! Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, I got smoked by a crypt of all things. <laughs> but that wasn't gonna stop me from running some solo dungeons. So I continued running floor one and died many, many, many more times. But even though I died many times, I still managed to get myself a full set of rotten armor. And I even managed to get a Dreadlord Sword and at the time I wasn't able to use it because the requirement was Catacombs 5. And so I went back to Entrance and just continued running it and I actually managed to get more Dragon Frags 
and uh yeah that was pretty easy running entrance floor now by myself is very very doable and because i was able to solo entrance i thought to myself that it was time to start grinding floor one and then the next day me and Adzan, I'm, I'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing that decided to take on floor one and uh, well obviously i cannot solo floor one so yeah they did help quite a bit especially in the boss fight as uh, otherwise i would just get one tap by bonzo and then we entered floor one and well to my surprise i was actually able to kill some mobs and do some damage i guess sure it wasn't great but it was there nonetheless but yeah of course it didn't keep me from dying all the way through but at least i felt useful and uh Another part about dungeons is doing puzzles and this one that we're entering right now is a three weirdos puzzle and basically you need to talk to the NPCs and figure out which one is lying and I highly recommend using puzzle solvers for this as it just makes the runs so much faster, so much easier for you, you don't have to think the game does it for you and yeah I just don't see why you wouldn't use them. And another puzzle that you can see right here is the creeper puzzle and for this one you basically just need to connect the sea lanterns from one side to the other so they cross through the creeper and you need to do this four times so four different beacons and once you do it he will blow up and reveal a chest and then we made our way to the blood room and unlike the day before i was actually able to kill them and i didn't die to my surprise and then we entered the boss room, so Bonzo. And Bonzo is relatively easy to kill if you do damage, which I do not, so for me it was quite difficult. But basically this boss has two stages, so the first one where he just kind of runs around. And then the second one where he gets enraged and then goes to the middle if you don't kill him fast enough and starts shooting the balloons at you. And yeah, we managed to kill him and we got an S run. We then got to open the chests and sadly I didn't really get anything in those chests. It was just books and a reforged stone for 250,000, which is absolutely not worth it. So uh, yeah, I ended up getting the free chest. And that was my first floor one run done. And when it comes to floor 1 drops, what we're looking for is for the Bonzo Staff, which is the weapon he was using in the dungeon itself, so the little balloons that were flying at me. And then we're also looking for the Bonzo's Mask because its ability basically gives you a second life, so instead of dying, gain damage immunity and plus 20 strength for 3 seconds and fully replenish your health, which is very nice, especially when you're weak like me <laughs> and die a lot. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some of these drops very very soon and I think once we get those, depending on how comfortable I am on floor 1, we might move on to floor 2. On my next run, I got absolutely obliterated by Bonzo. And once again, the chests were pretty garbage, so I ended up getting the free chest and uh, yeah, that was second run done. We then continued running floor 1 and on my fourth run, something very 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 unexpected happened. And the unexpected thing is that I opened the obsidian chest and in there was a bonzo staff just waiting for me staring back and I was like, what? <laughs> I so wish I recorded my reaction because I literally just started hysterically laughing at my screen. And the reason why is because I had an old Iron Man profile, which was like a test profile to see if I would enjoy it. And I did, I think, around 60 runs on floor 1, and I didn't get the staff. And in here, I do it four times. I can't even solo floor 1 yet. And I get the staff. Like, that's ridiculous. So, yeah, we got a Bonzo staff, which I honestly still can't believe. It's absolutely crazy. I didn't think I was gonna get it for a very, very long time, but uh, here we are. I'm holding it right in my hand and uh, I don't even know what to say really. And uh, just to show you quickly, it shoots little balloons out and this is gonna be our next mage weapon. I'm not too sure if I should enchant it. So uh, if you can, please let me know in the comments what I should put on it. If I should just enchant it like a normal sword. 
and what reforge to use probably heroic i would imagine but yeah please let me know but this is gonna be so crazy i'm probably gonna have to turn off the sounds for this as it's just uh quite loud and annoying but uh well we've got a bonzo staff ridiculous so i have been doing a decent amount of dungeon runs and that means a decent amount of dragon fragments and these are also the fragments that we managed to leech from the dragon's nest in the end and we have enough fragments to actually get sort of like a mix and match set of dragon armor so we can get a holy helmet we can get an unstable chest plate we can get young leggings and we can get unstable boots. I will probably try to get a full set of unstable armor for the dungeons because otherwise I would need to grind a lot of summoning eyes to try and summon some dragons so that we can get wise dragon fragments which is going to be our first proper dungeon set most likely because wise dragon is the dragon that gives you the most mana and I am currently running mage so that would be our ideal first setup for dungeons. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and actually craft this mix and match sort of setup and we will see how well it does in dungeons. So here we go. Holy dragon helmet. Unstable dragon chest plate. Young dragon leggings. And unstable dragon boots. Yeah, it looks really scuffed right now, but I think damage wise, we're going to be doing much better than we were with the rotten so yeah we got a new weapon today we got a new armor upgrade i think that's pretty good progress not gonna lie i also went ahead and enchanted this so i threw on protection 5 and growth 5 and i also went ahead and just threw on the wise reforge as it just gives me more intelligence so yeah i'm pretty happy with our progress i think we're doing way better than i thought we would currently we also have mayor diana elected so in the next episode we're gonna be doing some more of the mythological ritual and after diana we're getting mayor paul and i'm so excited because we're definitely gonna be doing some more dungeon runs and he is the dungeon mayor so it's gonna help us a lot especially this one where it gives you dungeon reward chest 20 percent cheaper so uh yeah hopefully uh, we get the bonzo mask and uh maybe we can start running some floor twos who knows but i think this is where we're gonna wrap it up for today so i hope you enjoyed if you did consider subscribing or maybe even liking and i hope you all have a good rest of your day evening morning whatever it is and I will see you in the next one. Bye!